Welcome back to the End of Days Chronicles channel. Parts of Saudi Arabia have been impacted by flash floods caused by heavy rainfall over the past week. Mecca, the holy city, experienced significant destruction from a massive hailstorm named Kara. The occurrence of such events in Mecca, the holiest place in Islam, raises questions about their true nature. People are curious whether these are ordinary phenomena or if they hold spiritual significance. When severe disasters like locust attacks, lightning strikes, severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, and hailstorms affect religious places, it naturally captures people's attention. The recent historic hailstorm in Mecca caused substantial damage and has sparked numerous inquiries. People are wondering if hail is a divine message to Muslims and what the true meaning behind this hailstorm might be. In today's video, we will explore these mysteries in depth. We appreciate your ongoing support and encourage you to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Now, let's embark on this journey of discovery together. Mecca has recently witnessed devastating disasters, including violent storms, hailstorms, and strong gusts of wind. These occurrences have taken Muslim pilgrims and residents of the sacred city by surprise. The National Meteorological Center has issued a red weather alert for the province and some areas of the kingdom. Several videos shared on social media depict pilgrims seeking shelter and the staff at the Grand Mosque struggling against powerful gusts of wind that blow away large garbage cans. Another video shows a massive billboard falling due to the strong wind, narrowly missing a passing car. Images also capture flooded roads and cars submerged in rainwater. Videos circulating on social media captured the extraordinary sight of heavy rain in the Grand Mosque, the sacred city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia. The civil defense of the kingdom advised people to exercise caution due to the intense rainfall in the Mecca region. The National Center of Meteorology in Saudi Arabia predicted the likelihood of medium to heavy thunderstorms accompanied by strong winds and showers of hail in the Mecca area. These unexpected hailstorms caused great concern among the people of Mecca and the Muslim community. Social media posts vividly portrayed the extent of the destruction caused by the hailstorm, including the sound of rushing water, properties being swept away, cars with shattered windows, and more. The disaster resulted in significant losses for Mecca and raised doubts about whether it was a divine punishment. The concept of hail has multiple mentions in the Bible, with various implications. According to the Bible, after the pouring of the seventh judgment by God, hail will descend upon humanity on earth. It suggests that after the seventh angel completed its task, a voice from the temple declared that it was done. Subsequently, lightning, thunder, and an earthquake followed, resulting in the destruction of cities in different nations. God then remembered Babylon and caused hailstones to fall on earth, decimating various cities. These hailstones were of substantial size, weighing approximately 100 pounds each. As a consequence, the people cursed God due to the severity of the hail. Christians learn from this account that God sent hailstones as a manifestation of His wrath. Therefore, hail is perceived as a divine punishment that God employs to express His disapproval of people's actions. The Bible recounts instances where God intervened on behalf of the Israelites in their battles against their enemies by employing hailstones. These accounts signify that when the Amorites pursued the Israelites, God unleashed hailstones from heaven, resulting in the death of many Amorites. Christians learn from these stories that God possesses the power to overcome one's adversaries when they have faith in Him and faithfully serve Him, just as the Israelites did. Hail plays a prominent role in Exodus 9, specifically in the context of the seventh plague of hail that God sent upon Egypt. This biblical narrative represents one of the most well-known occurrences of hail. After Pharaoh stubbornly refused to release the Israelites, God unleashed a catastrophic hailstorm that ravaged the entire land of Egypt. The Bible implies that Pharaoh's pride and disbelief in God led to his defiance of God's command. In response, God instructed Moses to confront Pharaoh and convey God's desire for his people to be set free to worship him. God warned that if Pharaoh persisted in his resistance, a severe hail plague would strike him, his servants, and the people of Egypt. According to the Bible, those who feared God took precautions to protect themselves from the plague, while those who did not left their livestock and slaves exposed in the fields, resulting in their demise. The following day, 
God instructed Moses to stretch out his staff toward the heavens, leading to a hailstorm that afflicted Egypt. The hail affected the entire land, except for the region of Goshen where the Israelites resided. Eventually, Pharaoh called upon Moses to intercede and halt the hailstorm. However, after the hail ceased, Pharaoh once again sinned. The hail was accompanied by lightning and fire, resulting in devastation among the Egyptian people and their livestock. Only the land of Goshen, where the Israelites resided, was spared. Pharaoh admitted to Moses that he had sinned and promised to release the Israelites. However, as soon as the storm subsided, his heart hardened once more. This plague showcased God's complete control over the weather, serving as both a judgment upon Egypt and a means of protection for his chosen people. The mention of hail in this account illustrates God's anger towards those who disregard his commandments. Pharaoh, who did not believe in God and refused to obey his instructions, faced divine punishment, just like all those who ignored God's commands. We learn that God did not allow hail to fall upon the land where the Israelites resided because they faithfully listened to and served the Lord. As a result, God punishes the unrighteous while safeguarding the righteous from his wrath. The hailstones were a part of God's miraculous intervention, enabling the Israelites to triumph over their militarily superior enemies. The description emphasizes the significant size of the hailstones and their destructive impact, particularly in defeating the Amorite army. In a similar manner, God employed hail to demonstrate his judgment upon Canaan and ensure the triumph of his chosen people. Now, without any further delay, allow me to share a secret with you. In the Bible, hail carries three symbolic meanings, judgment, God's wrath, and greeting. The Bible suggests that as a form of punishment following his judgment, God will cause hail to descend upon people. In this context, hail symbolizes the severe consequences that await those who have not led a righteous life according to God's instructions. Furthermore, God utilized hailstones to defeat the adversaries of his people. When the Amorites attacked the Israelites, God did not spare them but unleashed hail upon them in his anger. The Bible also indicates that God sent hail to destroy the enemies of Job on other occasions. These accounts teach Christians that hail serves as a sign of God's disapproval, and he employs it to bring harm and destruction to those who provoke his anger or harm his people. Additionally, the Bible implies that Judas, prior to betraying Jesus, greeted him with the word hail as a form of salutation. Therefore, hail, as mentioned in the Bible, can symbolize both punishment and greetings. Spiritually, hail is viewed as a manifestation of God's anger. Throughout Scripture, God demonstrates His wrath and fury towards those who offend Him and His people by employing hailstones, resulting in destruction and loss of life. The unexpected hailstorm in Mecca could be interpreted as a manifestation of God's anger and indignation towards the Holy Land. The inflicted damage may be seen as a means for God to express His emotions. Consequently, if you have recurring thoughts or dreams concerning hail, it may be an indication that God is displeased with you and that you should repent before His judgment and punishment befall you. Rather than waiting for God's wrath to descend upon you, it is advisable to seek forgiveness through prayer and believe in God's merciful nature. Throughout the Bible, hail consistently symbolizes God's sovereignty over the weather and His judgment upon humanity's rebellion. It is employed as a rare meteorological phenomenon to signify God's supernatural intervention. Old Testament prophets utilized hail imagery as a warning of imminent doom, while the New Testament applies it eschatologically, pointing towards Christ's return and ultimate triumph over evil. Understanding the theological significance of hail provides insights into God's character and his interactions with creation. Whether one believes hail to be a punishment from God or not depends on personal beliefs and interpretations of the scriptures. Thank you for watching and I look forward to sharing more updated content with you in the future. May God bless you.